my god. Hello, everybody, and sorry for that intro. I had a sneeze, and my Spotify started playing, and of course it starts raining. Uh, welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin, and today we have a technical task that we have been meaning to do for some time. But last episode, I just wanted to get my bees ready, um, and so on and so forth. Now, speaking of bees, well, no, speaking of last episode, sorry, uh, we went ahead and, if you didn't see, made this little beekeeper uh, area where now we can have our honey and honeycomb for honey blocks. Um, oh, 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 honey blocks and honey, which I've been collecting so far. Um, for, I think you can make, I think you can make uh certain potions with it i'm not sure but we've been working on that just you know because i haven't been into bee farming and it helps with my crops over here they grow faster i don't have the benefit of the rows because i'm trying to go for quality quantity over quality um so that will help with that in other news we have been doing great on the side of the channel we just hit 800 subscribers um i think i talked about this last episode but thank you all for that big milestone here um getting our armor ready this is all protection for for some reason <laughs> um let's see what else is there and we have been you know on a roll just in terms of overall growth like may alone i just saw in my um youtube monthly recap we had sixteen thousand views for the whole month which I, that's a record high for me, honestly. So thank you all for checking in and viewing my videos, watching them, contributing with your watch time and so on and so forth. Now, as I try to get my bearings down, <laughs> I may be walking around there everywhere, but there's a few things we have to do today. Um, one, make sure that the caves around the spawner are all lit up. They should be because it's been the area that I've, what's it called? Uh, it's been the area that I've been caving in recently. Thank you. Ooh, maybe I should take two. <laughs> but it's been the area that I've been caving in recently. And it's over in the savannah. I've already marked the spawner, so we won't get too lost. But just need to make sure that the caves are lit up for the most part. There's probably some surface level caves. Oh, let me grab some water. There's probably some surface level caves that I should, you know, like look around in, maybe, you know, trim up, trim, trim up. No, maybe put some torches in it, but I think I got most of the large caves below because it's only going to be the immediate area around it that should affect the spawn rate. And to be fair, I have come out like very far, um... I still need to make a path this way, but I have come out like pretty far from my caving adventures and I didn't, it was before I started using night vision potions. So it should be all properly lit. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead. I think I can see it from here. I don't have my Optifine zoom, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get to the mob spawner. Um, kind of search around for some caves you know, up by the mountain and everything, you know, areas that can spawn monsters. Because I don't think this will be... I don't know if this will affect the spawn rate. Ooh, arrows. But there you go. For good measure. Because <laughs> chances are that cave probably goes down, like, and ends. At, I don't know. Who knows? But overall, the caves around this area should be pretty well lit. I also have to remember that, you know, spawn rate... Uh, aren't really affected when affected when you have a spawner. I don't quote me on that. They probably are, but when you have a spawner, it's kind of a direct source. So you really just need to make sure the spawner is not spawning uh, any mobs in like adjacent areas. But like, you know, caves like this, pretty lit up, would be hard for mobs to spawn. Don't want to fall and die. Thank you. How do I get down there? <laughs> um, but I'm just looking for you know small areas where it's like way too dark and you know mobs will definitely spawn like that that could be affected by the spawner so i'm just going to be you know lighting these areas up 
and I'll catch you up with you all when I'm done. And hopefully by then I'll learn how to speak English <laughs> right now. I think it's a good sign that I've been walking throughout all of these caves and haven't run into a monster yet. And yes, I checked. I am on hard. So, uh, I think it's safe to head up to the surface and start looking at any caves that could be at the top of the mountain. But like I said, I don't think that spawners are affected by the caves. I think it just, I don't know. I know it just has to be dark for spawners to work. Other than that, uh, let's go over here. Let's see, where is my entry? Oh, right here. Yep. Yep. So we'll just check out these little caves up here. See if there's any dark spots and then we'll get to it. Actually, I think the, what's it called? The one cave. Oh, the monster spawner is pretty, pretty deep down in here. So check it out. I already see crazies coming after me. All right. Now that we're down here, let's just dig straight down. And yes, I can dig straight down now because, well, I already dug through here. So I would have known if there's hazards going up. Now, we can see how deep this is. Oh, okay, it's not terribly deep. What are we at for Y level? 56? Oh, that's not horrible. All right, uh, let's go ahead and begin our building process. Maybe put, okay, yep, we'll put some stuff right here. And I think I'll do, I don't know if I should do stairs or an elevator. I have the resources, I should do an elevator. So we'll start digging out our uh, spawning room or waiting room. Um, and then I'll start kind of thinking of a design for uh, a new mob farm. The one I have in the other world is good, but I don't know, I have more resources and more time. So let's see if we can get a better version of our, you know, spawning thing. <laughs> or a better version of our farm up and running for today. Now I'm curious one sec. If I wait now, if I look here, okay, hang with me. We're at 56, right? Which is below sea level, but not terribly below. So if I go negative 449 and negative 1500 out. And then down to 56 on the surface. I wonder if we can just dig a tunnel straight into it. Because that would be cool. That would be a good little building project. And we could decorate it and actually make it, you know, like a, a proper entrance. Um, but I have to see where we're going. So aiming for negative 449. 446. Was it 446? 449 and then running down to level 50 oh boy <laughs> so i don't like die what was it it was 56 right meaning wow. that okay so i think this is 64 c level but that means if I start digging right here, yeah, right here, wait, oh, okay, never mind. Right here should be, like if I just go down to level 50, at, okay, let me, like if I just dig, oh yeah, we get to see the netherite shovel. All right, so if I go here, and I know we'll make it fancier, hold on, bear with me. Okay, that's a village. I was like, that better not be anything too crazy. Oh, yeah, we don't even have to do anything super crazy. Sorry about the screen. It's, uh, <laughs> I know it's a little busy, but I do need to see where we're going. Nine, that'll be 58, seven. Okay, one more level. 56. Okay, which means I can just. Oh, wow, and it's connected to the main village part, portion, part, portion, yeah, one of them. But now I have easy access, and I'm thinking I'm going to do three tall 
three wide, but for now, just kind of, you know, doing something easy, something quick, nothing too crazy. Uh, there we go. Which is cool, because we should also have room for a dropper, and this is just going to be easy access to finding it. I don't know how I... I must have been exploring, like, the higher caves. Because I thought that was a lot lower than it was. I thought I was down to, like, maybe 30. But in a few... Or, like... Yeah, a couple... A couple blocks, we should be there. Haha, -ha, we have broken through. Now, where exactly? Okay, okay. That's not horrible. I mean, this is exactly what I wanted. Yes, perfect. So, I'm not going to dig any further here. What the heck? That's interesting. So, I'm not going to dig any further over, but I'm going to start, you know, hollowing this area out. We can finally get rid of this. Um,. And we can start actually making this a nice spawner because I've always had, you know, spawners in this game. But, you know, they've always been like this, just a hole in a cave. This one, I want to make it an official spawner or an official grinder. I don't know what makes it official versus an unofficial grinder. But I want to make it look nice, you know, like have an entrance, have, you know, a pathway to it from Riverton, such and such. You know, all that. And I think I have a cleric up here, which means we can bring him down here and just trade, uh, you know, just trade rotten flesh with him uh, for XP, stuff like that. Kind of making a multifunction uh, XP farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, sit with it as is, and I'm going to look up a episode or... A video on a good mob farm that works around what is this zombies yes um a good one because i want one that i have the option that like i don't have to drop them i can like you know have a crusher or something like that um of the sort and i'm just kind of curious where oh yeah this is real close to the surface <laughs> let's see sorry i know i'm getting a little distracted but Wait a minute. I think my exit is right. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. That is that is very close to where we came in. So we should be good. Oh boy, I got lost. <laughs> we should be good on monster, etc. And I just got lost. So let me go look up the view or the video. Figure out a good design. It's down here, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Figure out a good design, and then we'll we'll get to working on that. All right, so I've decided on a spawner design, and we're going to go ahead and dig that out. So this one is a little different in the sense that we're going to be working with a room like this, um, which I don't think should be an issue, but I'm going to start... I'm going to dig the trenches out first and all of that. And then I'll come in uh, later uh, in the video. Not later. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to do this. I also broke through to this cave over here. so. <laughs> um, but I'm going to come in later and kind of, you know, make it look somewhat nice. <laughs> um, but I'm going to dig all the trenches out real quick. And then uh, kind of update you on that. And then I'm going to put in, you know, the essentials i think this one might be a dropper farm i don't know uh we'll see but yes i should also note that i'm not gonna make the uh spawner room look good i'm just gonna make the area around it look fine this can all be cobblestone i don't care and all the workings for the pipes uh the mob pipes and whatnot okay so i thought i could do this without all the water but I'm going to have to do it with the water because I have no idea where this is, uh, how this is going to work otherwise. And I'm going to have to end up moving my chest again. So let's just do that real quick. Uh, there we go. Throw all that in there. I don't know where, oh, I got the melon seeds from the farm. Um, but yes, this shouldn't be too hard. I think 
so the monsters don't despawn. I'm going to, well, I don't think they will despawn, but just in case, I'm going to have a dropper that goes up and then down uh, with the soul sand elevator. This is um, from, uh, I don't know how to say it, but in a miniatures, I think. Um, so this is probably a pretty commonly used design or it could be theirs, not sure. Um, but it's going to be basically a modification of the one I already have in the other world for this series. But instead of going down, it's going to go up and then drop them like right over here. Which means I'm also probably going to have to lower this if I want it to be correct and dropping it. it it's going to take a little more planning than I initially thought, but... For now, let's just boop, 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 boop. Put all of these right here just so I don't have to worry. And I need more. <laughs> let's see. Boop. And then I got, yeah, I got to do the water. I'm going to need some walls, which shouldn't be hard. I think it's, I think this is the overall design think right here needs to be a wall okay yeah no, that'll work and then here for a placeholder we'll put soul sand right hold on uh i don't know if this is gonna work like that give me you let's see how this works so you come down here uh boo zombie oh, okay it's gonna be here uh-oh not like that oh no it's turned into a big mess come here thank you oh, okay we'll figure this out all right of course i need to go grab the uh essentials of my things uh another hello do i have soul sand don't have soul sand I mean, I do. I'll just have to go borrow some from... Actually, speaking of this, I might use these for um, the little entryway. But I need to grab soul sand. And I also need to grab kelp. So might be a little longer trip. But I'll see you guys once I have all this figured out and fixed. All right. We're slowly... No, no, don't, 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 don't push me up there. Slowly, but surely getting there. I just gotta get it to the top. Okay. Another bubbles. Oh yeah, there's bubbles. Which, that's good. Because that means now, the main area, the main part of this is done. Now I can fill it in and start, let's see. Yeah, my kelp should be here. Only issue is that, well, this is where it lands, so we're going to have to do some modifications on this part, but that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, before then, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, encase everything over here, make it look somewhat decent. We'll start figuring out what we can do aesthetically for this. I think I have to come down one right here. Yeah, I think that's the case. I'm going to, yeah, so I'm just going to fill all this in, but we've... Got the, uh, got the main part done, <laughs> so that is good. Um, but yeah, I'll finish this up, and then we'll start working on the aesthetic part of the spawner. And also, if you're looking at my health bar, uh, I know it gets you down to half a heart because, uh, well, it got me down to half a heart. So, yeah, that's good. Now, I might have to modify the design. isn't fully finished, but the annoying part is... But we'll have to finish the tutorial video in order to get the correct measurements for, you know, the thing. <laughs> All right, so this is the shell of everything. It is gross. It is ugly. But we will make it better. We will make it look good. Um, I guess I can lose that torch. We'll make it look good, and we'll go get everything we need for down here. 
I'm going to go ahead and collect all the resources and then we'll get to building. All right, now that we've got our kind of area set up, I think we're going to start with first putting in tinted glass. Uh, I do have my silk touch pick with me, which is good because if I mess up, you know, we can <laughs> fix it. But right now I'm going to, oh, well, I already messed up. I'm going to do this and then take dark oak. Then I can put you right here. And I think I'm going to have to do some extending. <laughs> so let's just grab, I didn't grab the chest. Come on, you. There we go. Do some moving uh, resources here. Just, yep. Yeah. And then we can also just start putting our building materials in here so I don't have too full of an inventory. Okay, there we go. Actually, let me take these, that, and put those in there because I'm not going to use those anytime soon. Why did I split that? Sorry, give me that. And, yep, one of these should be good. Let's see. Yeah, so... I'm going to want a platform here to watch, obviously. But... Oh, we are going to have to dig out over here. Okay. <laughs> no. Go here. Uh, yeah. And I think I'm going to go with the... Over here. Just the kind of... You know, one, two, three pattern. So... Right here. I don't know. I guess I'll make the roof even with that. And then dig out three of these here. And then we can put our red terracotta down. Uh, yeah, it'll look like that. There we go. Oh. Do I want depth in here? Eh, I could, but... Me I mean, it's a collection room, you know? Uh, sorry, I was thinking for a second there. Oh, no, that's not what I want. But yeah, it's it's just a collection room, so it doesn't have to be extremely good uh, and detailed. But I do want it to look nicer than just the junky, stinky cobblestone that it is. <laughs> like, I mean, come on. It's about time we put some effort into... Sir. <laughs> it's about time we put some effort into our mob spawners, which I've never done, but in Riverton, you know? Something are worth doing, and... Give me that. Come on. So this is kind of the color scheme that I'm gonna go for. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna go for kind of this scheme right here and you know just kind of continue it on i'm gonna have to fix you know the access to this area because i do want a little platform and i do want to be able to come down here and see this so let's i'm just gonna keep doing this and i'll let you know when i have updates all right now i realize that this is a zombie spawner based off of what i'm working with so there can be babies meaning i have to get down to Actually, wait, no, I can just do this. Whoop. Hmm. Now, I kind of wish that wasn't like that. Um. Huh. Well, let's see. You know what? I can just sit. Dang it. I was going to say, I can just sit down here can have a little whoop. there we go because now I can just swipe at all of them that'll be fine it doesn't have to be perfect and then for the floor I think I'm just I know I said cobblestone was ugly but I think it's ugly for the walls okay oh boy here we go <laughs> let's fill in this thing real quick oh no that just messed everything up Ugh. all right that's okay uh, where is it? There we go. Luckily, 
And then now I can just... Uh, do this until it stops. There we go. And then here... I just gotta do... That. Nope. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is gonna be the annoying thing. So... Let's get ready for this. I'm gonna do it. These should all still be source blocks. Yep. As long as I don't miss... Good, 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 good. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Hey, look, the kelp made it. <laughs> now, I guess I can... Actually, wait. Hold on. Well, if I'm going to do it like this, then... Give me these. Don't want to waste wood. I don't need it. Thank you. Ah! Heathen. Yeah, because it doesn't really make a difference if I do it there. And then here we can have... Boom, boom. Ah, perfect. And tinted glass there will be fine. Sorry if that really kind of sputtered into the microphone. All right, so let's get the floor. And then we can also start... Uh, you know, working on the tunnel down here. I think I have plenty of dark oak, so... I actually might do the floor out of... Hmm. Nah, this is okay. I was going to say, I might do the floor out of something else, but... Well, nah, cobblestone's okay. For now. I'll change it out later, but... I don't need anything too crazy. Now, down here... I will match up with... Uh, what's up here, so let's throw there, like that. Boom. Okay, and then come over here. I've got you. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. And then the rest should just be the red terracotta. Oh, that's not that bad. Hey, at least I got easy access to <laughs> right here. Uh, now the question is going to be, what do I do with my platform? I guess I'm just going to have to dig it out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I know what I can do. Hold on. Sorry. Turned into a, a little bit of a fool then. <laughs> uh... Let's do slabs, because then I can, uh, what's it called, put chests under here. There we go. Should be more than enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Give me that. I don't know why you didn't fall. Let's see. And then oak logs can go here. I know it's going to be a weird fit, but just bear with me. It'll look weird for the time being, but <laughs> you know, uh, well, that's okay. Most of my builds look weird before. Well, no, most of my builds just look weird. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do for the ceiling. The ceiling, I guess it could be cobblestone. Um, oh, wait, I can just do stairs right here. Mm. Wait, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I'll just do normal stair blocks up through here. Then I guess we'll just dig out and of course I'm gonna have to move this uh, so here I can go boop, 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 boop. and then fill you in all right sir give me that fill you in okay did I at least get the chest now oh my gosh there we go starting to finally look good in here it took a while, but 
here we go look so you come back here i should probably hold on there you are you come back here you've got your storage and whatnot um all that you know you will have room for storage back here that we can just boop 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 plop here there the zombies will come down here and i can just chill right here and now we just got to get the roof um i decided halfway through that i'm just going to use this for all of like the stone flooring um so instead of cobblestone we're going to have a little bit we're going to have a little bit more class um which i think will be good for everyone involved <laughs> i mean it'll look nicer and you know it kind of fits with the theme i think under here nah well i don't know i was gonna say i think under here i'll leave it you know to uh what's it called <laughs> i'll leave it you know as cobblestone but now that i think about it i'll just do this give us a little sides give us a little action with that there we go don't worry i don't have only four left i've got more than that there we go this is starting to turn out a lot better than i originally um thought it was going to like i said the spawner part's the easy thing just let gravity do the job i know i said i wanted kind of a crusher but eh. And then up here, I'll do the roof and then continue on with the tunnel through here. Uh, more, I mean, well, actually, I can grab this right here and then put, no, not that. Put these right here. Sweet. And then just start kind of digging out the roof so that I can just replace it with, you know, I don't know what I'm going to replace it with. Never thought about that. Well, I mean, I haven't thought about it yet. Uh, I also have some little fences right here, just so you know. I don't fall the... What was it? Two blocks, three blocks down. <laughs> hey, you know me, I would find a way to... get uh, Have an issue in my spawner. I mean, I did have a few issues building it. But we don't, we, we don't, we don't talk about that one. <laughs> I think for the ceiling, I'm going to go just uh these okay that's my watch i was like what, what's going on here just these and then some more dark oak i think that'll look good i'm already out of st uh, storage space for the build which is kind of funny but if i can just there we go now obviously for the glass i'm not gonna um have anything you know that will mess with stuff but or i'm not gonna put pillars down the glass that would be would be dumb uh do i have a block that's like yes i do go right there perfect nice and then just keep i mean placing these i guess it looks a little weird but you know it looks a lot better than just stone and cobblestone haphazardly thrown together that's and that's that's yeah that's a fact because the the one in my other world is literally just like a deep slate cavern and i know most people don't make their things look nice but you know i like i said this is a world of first doing a lot of firsts on youtube you know so might as well have something to look nice in my world there we go grab that awesome stop it and i think for now i'm just going to well first we got to see if the thing works obviously thank you i don't know can tinted does tinted glass drop ah, we will figure that out later ah, sweet oh and then i gotta fix this thank you let me grab that even though i'm only gonna need one awesome you know what let's just check it uh silk touch let's fix this eh. i don't know how i feel about that that's okay though i won't 
really pay too much attention to it because most of the work in here will be, you know, uh, just me sitting here. So <laughs> not really missing out on much now. No, oh, no, I do want that. Let's just come out here real quick and break the torches and see if it starts working. Oh boy, it's working. Uh, there we go. And now that I have that, I mean, you can't see much in there, but that kind of is the point. And so if I stand here, they should fall down here. And honestly, I think I can stand down here and they'll still spawn. Whoa, <laughs> it works. Now we'll see if it, you know, can get us, uh, are they stuck down there? Oh, no, they're not stuck. Oh, I forgot they have, okay. All right, now let's see, it should be, okay. So without armor, it's one. With armor, it's more than one. Alrighty, so we've got about like 10 or so minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of clean up this area a little bit. Uh, huh. I just <laughs> realized. Uh, Oopy daisy. Actually, you know what we can do? We can do something that has um, been unheard of. But we've got like 10 minutes left. So I'm just going to wrap up things here. Uh, well, this hasn't been unheard of. It's just a little unorthodox. But I'm going to wrap things up here real quick. And we can just kind of finish up the, you know, video. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, you know, uh, I'm not so concerned about the tunnel as far as I am concerned about this. Speaking of which, let's get that. Boop. There we go. Let's get that uh, thing down. So now I can work around in here and I can just, whoop. I don't know why some of them are more health than others, but you know what? I'll figure out a way that I can improve this. I may also actually include some like redstone lamp so I can disable it in the future. But for now we've got the beginnings of a lovely little monster spawner. So let me go ahead and just kind of work out here until I've, you know, exhausted all my resources and then we'll wrap things up for today. I know I've said that like three times, but we really will. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm definitely realizing that I kind of goofed over here. Um, I, I forgot. I was acting like I'm going to wrap it up, but we do have a little bit more time to f get things. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Part of me just wants to say, cut my losses, go here, fill this in, and, you know, call it a day. Because this one ties out pretty nicely. And it won't look as weird. I'm sorry, you can't see anything. And it won't look as weird. Um, Because, like I said, I, did, I mean, you know, this isn't really... Like, this is more than enough for a monster spawner. <laughs> um, let's see. I can't tell if those guys are spawning. Oh, I can see better on my other screen. Come on, you. Spawn you, hooligans. Oh, you guys just spawned. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think I might just switch to two. So I'll only have to do this side. And... That should be good. Let's see. Thank you. Now, the question is what I'm going to do with up here. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, but I do know 
Well, I don't know. The entrance doesn't have to be anything fancy. I mean, again, only I'm using it. And wow, you guys cannot see anything. Let's, uh, before this gets bad, let's just boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's just put torches down in here. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. One, two, three, boop. One, two, three, boop. One, two, three, boop. Now, oh, no, I think spawner is fine. Boop. Because spawner goes based off of proximity to player. Oh, perfect. Look at that. And yes, I will. I guess I'll go in this direction. Yeah, we'll just have a two, a two for. And then we'll fill this out like this. And then we should be good to wrap, finally wrap up the thing, wrap up today. I may have to do some cleanup, but while I'm here, I can just bebop up here, bebop right here. And yeah, okay. Well, I'm just gonna finish up this hallway and then we will fully wrap everything up for the day. I know I've been saying that so many times, but we will. All right, well, we have almost completed it. It's still a bit of a work in progress, but for today, I think we've hit a perfect stopping point. We've got a fully functional mob farm here with an observing window, even though you can't really see much. Uh, and down here, the kill chamber with the zombies that will give us tons of XP. Uh, for the time being, we will upgrade this in the future and so on and so forth. But for now, this is perfect uh for my needs you know i can just sit here grind it out um and then you know get xp uh fix my tools you know stuff like that i'm gonna work on getting all this crap back to riverton i might need to take my boat or something <laughs> but that should do it for today. I don't know what we're going to do next episode. I'll have to think on it. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching today's episode. I had a lot of fun, and we actually got a decent kill chamber uh, that's, you know, planned, and the spawning area looks nice. So we don't have to worry about ugly, creepy crawlies going all haywire in here and all the caves and whatnot. And all the caves around here are lit up, so... We should be getting pretty good zombies, um, even though I don't think that affects it. Or pretty good zombie rates and pretty good loot. Then, uh, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with streams and random videos in between. Until next time, uh, I'm Beanin. <laughs> thank you all for watching. Peace.